Hey everybody. I decided to Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Before we begin, we're playing Ace of Spades. Um this full video will probably no, be we're not. Okay, well so, I am. Please. Owen. I decided to make a recording because Owen was just being funny ass shit about pressure points and doing hilarious crap and I would like we need to make a recording, so we did. Math, adrenaline. Oh both. yeah. Everybody. Quick fun fact. Do not test out pressure points on yourself. Learn that one. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. No, Sam, can you hear my game or are we good? I can't hear what you at you at all. Actually, wait. Just say what you're playing. So I lose. Scare him. Yeah. Okay, so. On the PS3. I'm playing Skyrim. On Windows 90, on my DOS, <laughs> my DOS. It's just like, yes, I'm, I can run yes. that shit on my DOS computer, that's how freaking powerful it is. Probably could, too. Crabber shanty. I'm <laughs> that was a fail, I don't what know what I'm doing. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Where am I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be on top of that cliff. Oh, this hey, is gonna be a freaking half hour court. Okay, not interrupted. I got to go. That was sad. Hey, man. Oh, we're all dead. <laughs> Playing classic CTF, which is my new favorite game mode. My favorite game mode is Skyrim. The Skyrim game mode, where logic does not exist. Well, that's freaking <clears throat> annoying ass grenade rate this. Anyway. So, um, what were we talking about before this? Ski masks, buying I don't know. shit Wait, gas stations. Guys, what like what game <coughs> would you want to see like a sequel to on the PS4? Like what Half games Life do you 3. want to see? Or companies making game. Well yeah, Valve. that's happening. Like what I know I want um I want Bethesda to make a new game. I don't mean like a new Fallout, which yeah, keep making Fallouts. Don't, don't don't get me wrong there. And a new Elder Scrolls, keep making them. But I'm curious, like a new open world game, like something new to explore. I think that would make a lot of money. And then mm -hmm. yeah, sorry about that. My uh, head, my headphone cord got tangled. I had to, you can hear me right. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, um, um, just making sure I didn't want to have to restart this. Anyway, yeah, my headphone cord got tangled underneath my chair. That was fun. Um, Nate! Look how that nade propelled me through the doorway. Anyway, um, let's ask oh, a qu whoa. Let's Shit. ask a- we need to get a conversation started, so let's, I'm gonna think of a question. Um, well, I was in the middle of having a conversation with myself, thank you very much. Damn Chinese fucking Chinese. Okay. Chinese so. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, I don't mean any offense to Chinese people or people who endorse communism. I was just playing a lot of Fallout recently, and yeah, I'm pretty pumped up about fighting communism. Oh god, fuck you. And ice. Oh, here's something to talk about. Um, why do we make this our project video, Owen? Where we explain what we're trying to work on. But we don't know what we're working on. No. Well, we kind we know of... We know what, yeah. Well, we're going to be developing a game. Um, Half-Life Engine. We did have an original idea. Yeah, it would be the original Half-Life Engine, not Source. We know the difference. Um... It'd be the original Half-Life engine, not the Source engine. The differences, and yes, we know. Mainly a six-year one, anyway. Um, but what we're thinking of doing is, we had a big thing planned out, uh, but it was stopped by our lack of knowledge of how to do stuff. 
specifically servers and um <coughs> Sam can get into that stuff mm -hmm. more, but uh our big thing now is we're thinking of making a single player game. Uh we are still just tossing around some suggestions with each other. Anybody's watching you should leave Your any suggestion. ideas for a single player game that'd be cool. Um, and it's uh, not a knockoff of another game. Them or make him. Yeah, try and keep knockoffs at a uh, minimum for between zero and you know, yeah. zero. We're not trying to make. <laughs> we are not trying to make a carbon copy of Halo, or and we are not trying to make a Call of Duty. Hell no, we're making a Call of Duty. Um. So yeah. Um. But the main point is we think about making that. It already I've been seeing that and got the whole crew fixed up. But we're going to be making the game. We still are just pretty iffy on ideas right now. Um the one I came up with today while I was in school, which I try to pay attention to. We, we could fall dude, we could follow through with the Ronald Reagan one. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, um, I don't think you guys ever saw my screen. Well, we could actually work that. I mean, it's F it's first person, so I mean, yeah. If all all we would really have to do is um. Oh, that's right. They have a vehicle. Like, they have vehicles in half life. Oh, um, they have a vehicle in half life. Yeah, and I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, um, just in case you're wondering who's gonna be handling what, um, Owen is really just there for concepts sound and stuff um and carter is gonna sound. be carter's gonna be doing modeling sean will probably do, be just play testing and when i mean play testing it's probably going to be derping <laughs> sean <laughs> sean's gonna be with me our our job is pretty much nothing and, and then some sounds so. yeah and then i code just because it's what i like doing um, i finger <laughs> Is my like frame rate just kind of just? I like... make the meth in the family. Um. Okay. You see, I stopped doubting Owen a while ago because I was just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. Oh. Really? Because I never stopped. I never stopped doubting myself. That's how I made the meth. I like meth. Striking. Shut through the hole. <coughs> Other words. Shit. Always crap, be crap. honest with people, but don't. Best quote: Always be honest with people, but don't tell them anything they don't need to know. So don't be honest with people. Oh yeah. What do you think Battlefield 4 is gonna be like? Hopefully it didn't pull a Black Ops 2. Or any other call. Hopefully they didn't pull in every fuck hopefully they didn't pull in every shooter of this uh year and go into the goddamn future. Yeah, they were all just kind of like, uh, kind of worked for Halo. I guess it'll probably work for us. I, also, FYI, never played Halo. I don't own an Xbox because I don't, I don't pay for live because I'm a cheap ass bastard. If I ever did get an Xbox, I like it'd be, if it, if I ever did get an Xbox, it'd be a hacked one or a well, I mean hacked. I mean I'm an emulator, so I don't have to pay for live. And in case, in the event that Owen decides. Oh, yeah, bitch. No, not even talking about this guy. <coughs> I just, oh, I won the match. Awesome. And I smacked the guy in the face with the shovel before I did. Oh, yeah. Um. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, the Glamoral Witches. Oh, God fucking damn it. I, like, just killed these guys <laughs> in my other game before. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know why this happens? I'm playing on PS3 right now. Recently, my Skyrim scene was wiped. So I had to start a new game. If anybody knows why the fuck that happened or how I could possibly get those back, 
please let me know. And I don't mean like I overwrote in the saves. Because I keep manual saves as well. Like I auto save in the manual save for that reason. But um no, what happened was I actually lost all of my data. So I mean if anybody knows how I could recover that shit, that would be great. Yeah. Um, okay. Um something else. Yeah, so Okay. While we're on the topic, what are the games that you're looking forward to the most this year besides Half-Life 3 Sam? Um, this year. Okay, I'm looking forward to The Witness. Um, you might not well, know what that near is. Near future. Near oh. future. Oh, what do you mean, near future? Like, uh, four years, give or take. Oh, no, that's coming, that, well, that's coming out this year, but, um, for, just real, while I'm into it, um, it's a puzzle game about... You ever see, like, it's almost like connect the dots, except it's infinitely more harder, because it's just, you don't get any clues. It's just like, oh, connect the dots, and like, how the fuck do I do this? It's just like, you're just kind of sitting there. When waiting. did you get clues with connect the dots? I don't know. It's like connect the dots, but without any dots, and there's only one answer. Well, anyway. Yeah, that was... Just... Wait, how Look is there it up. more than one answer with connect the dots? You know what, I'm not even gonna... Um, anyway, <laughs> um, don't, like, if Sam, by the way, if Sam gives any grammar advice in any video, do not take it. No. Nope. Absolutely never. Actually, if he gives you any advice, don't take it, unless it's on coding, and even then look it up. Unless it's on what? I don't trust Sam with anything. Coding. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to Fallout 4, and thank god it's not being developed by Obsidian. I mean, don't get me wrong, for all the people who are like, Oh, New Vegas is better, oh, Fallout 3 is better. Personally, I liked Headshot. Fallout 3 better. Um, Obsidian did their job in that they made New Vegas, like, actually more canon than Fallout 3 was, I know that. Like, in my opinion, New Vegas probably should have been 3. But, um, you know, when it happens, it happens. Because I wasn't, I liked Fallout 3 more, but New Vegas was more on point with the story. And for those who are wondering, uh, I'm not, um, just don't ask me to, if you want a, someone to play a role-playing game, that's Owen. I don't do those, I just don't have the patience for it. Yeah. Um, Puzzlers, I'm all about. was, yeah, no, fuck Puzzlers. I beat those in two days. The other thing was, just like, um, it's just like a thing. I just like, oh, puzzler. Beat it in two days. I beat Portal in no, two days. The other thing is, uh, with my problem with, um, uh, New Vegas was, they had a really nice world mapped out and everything. But, and they had some challenging enemies, but I didn't think there was enough to fill the world. Like, don't get me wrong, there was a hell of a lot of enemies, but New Vegas is one of those th games where once you get to a certain point, you kind of just want to kill everything, and then once you kill everything, it's gone, whereas Fallout 3 has these constantly spawning enemies. Granted, it's kind of the same effect, but I don't know. In the atmosphere, Fallout 3 was better. The one thing that both games had that they need to fix in the new one, the fucking endings. They had great endings, except for the part that you couldn't play after. Like, Fallout 3, they released a correction DLC, so you could play after and all that. New Vegas, they didn't, which was really stupid. And I think, in general, they should just let you play afterwards, because... I mean... What's the fun of beating the game and getting all... Like, my big annoyance is you got all this cool stuff uh, at the end of New Vegas, and then the game ends. You never gotta use it. Which I thought was pretty stupid. Mm. But I think. And then the other thing is, uh, is um, Skyrim's leveling system. If they tweaked that a bit where you got. You actually did get some experience from quests and you could. I think it would be a great thing for Fallout because with both Fallouts, you just max out speech, sneak, and like maybe 50 plus melee and you would win. Like, the game's over. Because nobody can touch you at all. The only game I really everybody. liked from Bethesda, just like, really like, was Doom. Just because it's freaking Doom. 
Yeah, it's technically ID Softworks, which is a branch of Bethesda. Yeah, but love Doom. I don't think anybody hates Doom. It's not really possible to. Besides Germany. Besides <laughs> Germany. Germany, yes. Germany doesn't like any fun games. Sorry, Germans, but they censor all the fun games there. Yep, and no Call of Duty. We were computer. having this conversation earlier. Oh, yeah. But we uh, were having me and Sam a conversation earlier. Manhunt the most fucking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That game's so cool. Never it, played it. It was the second one where. Explain, um, explain to them what the game is. Well, I'm sure most of the people like played a lot of games PS2 when it was like Prime and they were like adults. They, um, they know what it is, but essentially, Manhunt is first of all. If you know GDA, it's on uh, Liber Liberty City for I think GDA 4 is Liberty City. Can't remember which one, but it's on on the other side of the island. Um, is where it took place, and it was just this fucked up place. Entire point of the game was get more hor horrific kills on people for more points. Love the game, but um, point being. It was really gruesome, and so after the first one came out, and Rockstar, Rockstar, <coughs> made it, yes, you wouldn't expect it, but um, sorry. Well, when the second one came out, the U.S. government basically said they couldn't sell it in the U.S. without a lot of censoring, which you know the U.S. was a, is a huge selling point for a lot of games, mainly because of their loose censoring. So when Mayhem 2 was initially released, they had cut some of the parts, but it still received an e A rating from the ERSV, so it couldn't be sold in the US. So they went and then did another cut uh, in censorship, and it still had an A rating. And so I think it took like three redos, three censorings. Before this they why... finally legally were allowed to sell it in the U.S. Yeah, and this is and why you shouldn't do games so right messed up. Up. Well, no, uh, the reason why the ERSB was created is actually because of Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. And the deaths were so gruesome. And the it time. was so widely spread, like, so many kids could, like, get a hold of it. It wasn't even that they were gruesome from the time. There were games more gruesome. But the fact was, it was an arcade game, so tons of people could get their hands on it, especially children. And it forced the U.S. government's hand, and so they made it so they had what the game industry had one year to create their own rating system. And now is the er it's the ERSB. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, you can thank Mortal Kombat for fucking everything up. <laughs> you can also thank Mortal Kombat for any violence at all in your video games today. Yeah, so, no, there's a lot of violence before Mortal Kombat. Like, I mean, gruesome violence. Because they were the first people who were just like, you know what, fuck you, America, I'm sending- Oh crap, what the hell is that? Um, I don't know where that- The beeping? From. That's me. No, 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 I just kinda just like got- I was just, um, I was just bouncing around, I got freaking nailed in the face with a bullet. Uh oh. No, uh, there was way more gruesome and fucked up shit before that. It's just that, once again, Mortal Kombat was so easily obtained by all ages that it... Um... Yeah, so, video game history with that one. Ooh, I can't wait for Bioshock Infinite, actually. Oh my god. It's gonna be an amazing game. I know a lot of people, not really. I know most of the fans were cool with it and were really excited. But what I was really annoyed about were the fans that were complaining that you weren't in Rapture. I mean, Rapture's story is ended. <coughs> Literally, the entire city has been blown up and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Well, further down into the ocean. You can't do much more with it. And you better wrap it up, wrong. dude. This recording's almost a half an hour long. Too, but... Chill, bro. I have but to go to bed. I think it's cool that they're wrapping up. School day, Shut so. your mouth hole. Shut your mouth hole. <laughs> Wait, give me but a second. Yeah.
Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go I do guess some. You should make. Give me a second. I have to go pull a Minecraft before I leave. When I, I feel like we should have a podcast, like just an episode of like 10, 20 minutes. Of time. That's weird. Oh yeah, everybody check my fact. Check my facts though, because most of it's accurate. There might be some flaws but yeah most of what i say is accurate and i'm always open for people fact checking me as long as they're not dicks about it because oh yeah also well, i can't I like speak any language corrected. like i'm not fluent in any language whatsoever like yeah, not even english sam is mentally challenged as far as language go as far as language understand how to speak any language That's at all I just freaking mess up grammar. It's just like, I'm like, I don't even, I'm like, you know what? I don't need to use grammar. I'm just like, I don't. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't need to use grammar. Go on. So, there. And it's also, it's like, yay, I don't need to use grammar. So it's like, oh, dude, you sp it's just like, dude, what the fuck is with your spelling? And it's just like, I don't know how to spell, so. Yeah, interesting fact. I've never failed a spelling test in my life, and I can't spell jack shit. I actually do not know how to spell that word. Inter interesting fact. I still don't know why Sam is proud of these things. He's, he's proud of not of being illiterate. It's weird, but hey, each is on. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off in three minutes. Because actually, I don't care about upload time. I can do this over the weekend while I'm doing other things. Um like playing other video games on other consoles Ooh. and I'm gonna cut your face off. I think I might you see the issue with for me is I kinda just don't when I make recordings I kinda have to make the whole recording in one sitting. Like I just have to beat the entire game in one sitting because I don't like to, I don't like to um just to do series. I just can't handle I I just you can't handle the truth, fool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can do the multiple sittings things just because a lot of my playthroughs playthroughs are RPGs. So you really don't get much enjoyment just beating an RPG in one sitting. That is fucking. It's frustrating. Really. I mean, anybody who plays RPGs would probably agree. Once it gets down to like just getting killed multiple times on a point, mm -hmm. you just start getting pissed. Yeah. At least for me. Yeah, but for me, I just can't sit through a game that takes multiple iterations to beat because I'm just kind of like more than like, like first person shooters I'm okay with because it's really linear and it's just like oh okay, but like those kinds of games I'm like oh my freaking god it just it gets down to a point where it's like oh I already I do the same thing over and over again. Level up, do quest. I'm not high enough level. Level up, do quest. I'm, I'm not high enough level. Level up, do quest. And it's just I like um for me. See. Mm -hmm. My take on games is, um, if you don't get to a point at some point where you die at least, like, three times and you have a struggle, one, you're either not playing the game right and you're playing on the easiest difficulty, which makes it boring as hell, um, or two, the game isn't good. Like, if it doesn't challenge you, because it's that frustration and, like, anger from those moments that once you beat it, you get really happy. Like, that's what makes a good game. Whereas, like, the game is not good, it's not fun. Anyway, yeah. I so, I um, like, interesting fact, I beat, so I beat, like, games that you just should not have been able to beat in two days, in two days, um, I only beat them in two days because I started half oh, the Oh, I've done days. that. Yeah. Like, for example, um, if any of you have ever played, um, what am I thinking of, um, crap, I can't remember names, um, Anti-chamber. Yeah, that's it. Anti-chamber. That game is freaking hard because it's a paradox. Like, I, you can just walk around, like walk in an ever-ending hallway and act, end up where you where, where you started, or just walk down a hallway and then and when you walk and when you come down you end up where you started, but on the seat or on the wall or something ridiculous like that. Um, yeah. So there's that. Um. Also, I beat Portal 2 in like two days, well, in two days, because I started in the night and I finished in the morning. Sorry. Sam won't understand the significance of this, but people who have played Combat Evolves, you know. Uh, me and my friend David on co-op beat Halo Combat Evolves, not Anniversary, like the actual Combat Evolved, two days on Legendary, which... People who know Combat Evolved understand. That's 
That's frustrating, to say the least. Let me put it that way. Fun game, though. Fun, fun game. Alright, so... Um, uh, that it? Um, what a bring... Um... Um, I guess so. So do you want to do a penis on the count of five and we'll call quits? No, we'll just call it quits. I'm not going to do penis. You can. Okay. Uh, I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Vagina, I don't have to follow your rules, Owen. <laughs>